The Dragonfly. It isn't often that Clutch and company have to use pontoons on the plane instead of wheels, but they're off on a fishing trip to the Canadian lakes. Relaxation is good for the body, Spinner. And what better way to relax than fishing, I always say. You know, I'm for it, Clutch. Hope we catch the big ones. I think Paddlefoot hopes so, too. How far do we go? It's about 400 miles north of the border. What is pretty rough country. It's patrolled by Royal Canadian Mounted Police. You're the guys who always get their man, eh, Clutch? Right, Spinner. I've never known of one of them to fail yet. They very often ride horseback and have a dog as a companion. Wow! I thought you'd like that, Paddlefoot. There's a river below it. Is that the one we follow? Yep. Right to its starting point, which is Potter Gold Lake. That's where we land. The rapids in the river are too rough. Gee, things look so small from up here. That canoe looks like a matchstick. Huh? Canoe? Where? Right there, Clutch, in those rapids. Golly! It just turned over! Hey! There's a man hanging on the side! If he keeps drifting, he'll go over the falls and be smashed on the rocks below. We've got to try and help. Fairly smooth, just above those falls. We'll keep the engine running to force us against the current and hold us from going over the falls. Here goes. This current plenty swift, but once I set the throttle at an even speed, just use the rudder pedals and steer the plane upstream. All set. Keep her headed upstream. I'll do my best, Clark. Good luck. That man's going awful fast towards us. A little to the right, Spinner. Here he comes. Grab my hands and throw your corner. Hold her steady, Spinner. Did you get him, Clark? Sure did. The canoe went over the falls. I'll get him in the plane. Is he all right? He looks half drowned, but he's coming too. Let me take the control, Spinner. If our engine stops, we're gone. One of the floats hit a rock. Hope it didn't poke a hole in it. Then him fly away. 
Sounds bad. It can scare an old woodsman like you. Here's Lake Pot of Gold. As soon as we land, we'll take a look around. Uh oh Looks like one of Pudge's floats is going to come loose. Uh oh We're in trouble. That rock we hit when we off from the river. I think one of our floats is going to tear off. to land on one float spinner. Take all the seat belts. Hang on. This is going to be dangerous. Okay, Clutch. Clutch knows that the only way he can bring his plane down on the water with one float is to make a high-speed power landing. Okay. We're all right, Clutch. First ride in plane. Think me stay hunter. Plane's all right, except for that float. We'll have to rig something later. We came in right by your dock, too. Him peaceful and quiet until giant dragonfly come here. Gee, we finally got here. Can I go fishing now, Clutch? Okay, Spinner. Maybe you can catch some fish for lunch. Indian Bill and I are going up this path to his cabin. Here's the cabin. Is that your horse? Not my horse. Him belong to Sergeant Terry, mounted police. Him here now. Yeah, I'm here all right. This giant dragonfly, have you seen it? No, Indian Bill and I watched the traps for days, but nothing happened. Then the day after I left, Indian Bill's dragonfly appeared again. Hope you can use some help, Sergeant. Sure can. Well, Paddleford, I think we've got enough, huh? <coughs> Golly, won't Clutch be surprised. We caught five big ones. I guess the thing to do is for me to dress like Indian Bill and go to the trap line alone. Good. Maybe you'll see something. Help! Clutch! Help! It's Spinner. Something's happened. Come on! What terrible thing could have happened to Spinner? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. safely. Spinner decided to stay at the lake and fish while Clutch went with Indian Bill to his cabin. While they were talking with Sergeant Terry of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police... Help! Clutch! It's Spinner. <laughs> Something's happened. Help! Help! The sound's coming from over here. Spinner, Clutch. Me untie rope. Got you, Spinner. You're okay now? That's a nasty trick, setting a trap like that. Somebody meant to snag you, Indian Bill. There were two paths, and I guess I took the wrong one. But you didn't drop your fish. Wow, they're beauties. I didn't want to get them dirty. You're a brave boy, Spinner. I'm Sergeant Terry, Royal Mounted Police. Now let's get back to Indian Bills. And as they go... Someone is watching them. <laughs> What's the matter, boy? It's only me. Sure, Paddlefoot. It's Clutch. I'd never have believed it, Clutch. You look just like Indian Bill. You keep them closed good, Clutch. That's my best trapping suit. <laughs> Let's hope I can fool those fur thieves. We'll move on down to the trap lines. Oh, this will be keen. The canoe is soon amongst the rough rapids. 
We'd better pull into the bank now. Then I'll go on alone in the canoe, the way Indian build it. Here is good place to stop. All out. When you get to turn in river, stop at big tree. You'll find long rope tied to it. Rope got them hooked to put on canoe. It holds you when you look at trap line. We'll stay in the cover and follow you down. Someone may be watching. Okay. I'm off. But not Clutch. You need him. Boy, look at Clutch go. Almost like he's got a motor in it. There's the bend in the river ahead. Now to steer this thing toward the land. Hope I don't rip the bottom out of this canoe. Made it. That's the right tree, all right. Now to hook the rope on the canoe and let her drift. His canoe's back in the water again, and he's almost reached the trap line. That's good. The canoe's holding at the end of the safety rope. Trap line should be just about here. As Clutch leans over to pick the trap line from the swift water, back at the big tree where the safety rope is tied. What the? The rope broke. Oh, no, the paddle. And those walls are only yards away. The boat's loose. He's lost the paddle. Don't go over the boat. No. ever escape going over the falls? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Dragonfly. Last time, Clutch and company with Indian Bill and Sergeant Terry started downriver to inspect the trap lines. Clutch, dressed in Indian Bill's clothes, was alone in the canoe, held by a safety rope. As he reached for the trap line, the rope broke. The boat's loose. He's lost the paddle. Oh, you go over the falls. Thanks to all of you, I think we've drawn our thieves out of hiding. If you look at the end of that rope, I'm sure you'll find it's been cut. You're right, Clutch. Rope been cut. Whoever did it thought you were Indian Bill. They'll stop at nothing to get control of your trap lines. They can't be too far away, either. I'd like to scout from the air. Somehow, we've got to rig up another float on the plane. Clutch, me got them big idea. Use canoe for float. My gosh, you've got it. That's a great idea. Canoe is about the right size, too. Okay, let's get going. The canoe is fixed onto Clutch's plane, and they are soon ready to go. Won't last forever, but I hope it'll hold for time. I'll stay here, Clutch, just in case we have visitors. Paddlefoot and I are ready, Clutch. We'll help you look. Me come, too. Me sail canoe up in sky. Glad you want to come. We need you. But you'd better ride in the cabin with us. Well, so long, fellas. Hope you find out something. We'll soon know if that canoe boat's going to hold. Made it. Clutch covers every inch of the territory near the river. And everyone keeps a sharp lookout. But all they can see is an occasional trapper's cabin and a huge deserted barn that begins to interest Clutch. That old barn not used in many, many moons. Almost fall over. There it is again, Clutch. Looks like it could fall any minute. That may be. But I've just got a hunch. It's big enough for a giant dragonfly to use. Huh? You mean you think the dragonfly is real? I sure do, Spinner. Golly! I think it's real enough to carry a couple of thieves and plenty of furs. And that deserted barn is a perfect place to keep it. We're going to take a look. That's a pretty good canoe of yours, Bill. You bet him, Clutch. Me make him good canoe. Not far now. I'll say it isn't. I can see it from here. Seems deserted, all right. Hey, 
Hey, look. A fence. Must go all the way around. Something's going on here. Doesn't seem to be a gate. Guess we'll have to climb it. No, it's better. Wait. Don't touch that fence. It's charged with electricity. Is Custer's warning too late to save Spinner? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Fudge Cargo. surrounded by a fence. Spinner began getting anxious to get to the barn. Doesn't seem to be a gate. Guess we'll have to climb it. No, Spinner. Wait. Don't touch that fence. It's charged with electricity. Got you, Spinner. And just in time. Phew. Boy, am I lucky. Me not come here for a long time. This fence new. Shh. Clutch. I think I heard someone. You're right, Spinner. Come on, behind those bushes. Oh, look. Me know him, him. Him, Slippery Smith. Look, he went right to the fence and unhooked those two wires. He went through that hidden gate and into the barn. Come on, we'll follow. There's your giant dragonfly, Indian Bill. An army surplus twin-end helicopter. And look at the furs! Millions of them! That sounds like thunder. It not rain, sun shining. That's not thunder. Look! The whole roof sliding back. What do we do, Clutch? You stay with Indian Bill. I'm going to get in that helicopter. They're ready to haul a load of stolen furs. Clutch opens the door, looks around and crawls to the helicopter and climbs aboard. But just then... Gotcha. Spy on us, will ya? You're all going for a little ride, and when we get way up in the air, I'm gonna throw you out. <laughs> all set, Mushy. The roof's open, and here we go. Indian Bill's hands. Awful quiet back there, Mushy. Go and check our fine feathered passengers. Right, boss. Shh. Lie still. Everybody nice and comfy? <laughs> you got him, Clutch! What was that? That you, Mushy? Clutch Cargo's the name. Your friend's nappy. Stop! Please, don't hit me! I'm outnumbered, it's unfair! Tie him up, Indian Bill. I'll pilot this so-called dragonfly. There you thieves, Sergeant Terry. Thanks, Clutch, for a job well done. When the furs are sold, the money will be turned over to Indian Bill. The helicopter was stolen. We'll return it. Gee, you're gonna be rich, Mr. Indian. And you deserve it. And I guess this ends the mystery of the giant dragonfly. Golly, Clutch, we gotta go back. You mean you like that place so well you wanna go back? No, Clutch, we forgot my fish. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the dragonfly. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.